You do not need fancy tools to track your habits. As I mentioned last week, there are so many simple ways to track your habits by hand, and I've previously reviewed other habit tracking apps that can also be really useful. But in this video, I wanna show you how to make your own habit tracking spreadsheet using Excel so that you could maybe take things up a notch and really customize it to the kinds of habits that are applicable to you. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open a blank Excel document. And then you have a variety of different ways for how you want to set this up. But I love to start by brainstorming the kinds of habits that I want to track. So on the left hand side, I take the first column, make it a little bit larger, and start typing in the habits that are important to me. So another thing I love to do is categorize it by different area of my life. The the first category I will put as health and fitness. Another category would be, let's see, um, maybe personal development. Another one could be relationship goals. Then things like um, business goals. And, you know, again, whatever is applicable to you, then within each of those categories, you can think of the specific actions that you want to be tracking day after day. So for me, I want to track exercise. You can create new rows to make room for extra things. I want to be drinking eight or more glasses of water make a few extra rows in here. I want to make sure and take a probiotic, take um, other supplements. We can go on and on. So sleep seven or more hours. I'd love to sleep 10 hours a night, but as a busy mom, that's not really in the cards for me. Let's see. Other things that go in line with health and fitness can be things like um, strength train. Maybe we can put this as 30 plus minutes of cardio. And then I'll move strength training up. No alcohol, limited sugar. You could get way more specific on what you wanted to do, but these are just a couple examples. All right, let's think about personal development goals that you have. I want to read a chapter in a book. I want to write in my gratitude journal, want to take a lesson in a course. Want to pot track the podcast that I listen to. Okay, then in terms of relationship goals, I want to have date nights with my husband, I want to read to my kids, I want to have a quality conversation in ideally real life, but if not, at least through Zoom or something where I'm giving somebody my full focused attention. I want to have time with friends. Again, you can go on and on and on. In terms of business goals, I want to Put out as many YouTube videos as I can. Oh, I can't spell YouTube video. Goes to Instagram. Want to, I can track the number of subscribers on my email list and so forth. Obviously track revenue and expenses. All right, then at the top, I love to designate the day of the month that goes across the top row in every single column. 
And one great thing that you can do is highlight a few cells and then just drag it across and it will auto populate the number that uh, you want to go up to. I also want to take all of these columns and you can either drag them by hand to make them smaller or you can go to format cells. So just click and drag across the top to make every column about the width that you want it to be. That way you can fit all the days of the month on there. And then we can keep going. Almost there. Let's say that there are 31 days in the month. Okay. Now a couple of things you can do to format this and make it look a little bit nicer. If you click up here on the top left where there's this little triangle, click on that and it highlights everything for you. You can then change the font. You can change the size. Let's see if we do that here. All right, you can also click on that box and um, change the justification. If you highlight the cells that you want, you can right click and go format cells, alignment, and we want vertical, let's see, um, in the center, okay. I love to make the outside of the, the tracking spreadsheet bold so that it's a little bit easier to distinguish. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just bold the categories that I have here on the left-hand side. And eliminate some of the blank rows. Okay, now, we want to fill in the spreadsheet according to the different um, boxes that will help make it look more like a spreadsheet that we could fill in if you wanted to print it out. So up here, once we've highlighted those cells, you want to go to the border box. And I like to choose thick box border for the outside. Then I go ahead and highlight some of the different rows. And I just wanna put a bottom border there. Also make a bottom border at the end of every category. Then I will highlight the first column and add a border to the right. Then I will highlight all of the inside little um, cells and we wanna put all borders so that those get filled in like that. So you can basically add whatever borders you want here and it might be nice to just have all the borders here. And again, you can make thick outside borders to help delineate the uh, space, make it a little bit more formal. Okay, so here we have our basic habit tracking spreadsheet. And what you could do is either print this page out for yourself, or you can just manually go in. And if we turn our cap caps lock on, you could start putting an X on the days that you do a certain action. You could also just highlight those cells with a different color. So let's see here if I can click on that box. Say you wanted to fill them in in yellow and then this way you could have different colors for different activities or different habits, right? Maybe we want to indicate these things in blue. But either way, the point is to be able to use this to fill it in every time you do an action. So this is one option. You can fill it in with the colors that you want that you know just kind of look pretty and depict the things that you have found are important to you. 
And then you could imagine that as the whole chart gets filled up, it looks even more beautiful with these different colors and the kind of rainbow that it would produce. All right, let me show you another example of how you could track things numerically and then produce special graphs and charts that would um, kind of visually depict your progress. Let's say I am tracking the number of YouTube subscribers that I have. So I'm gonna add a column here for YouTube subscribers, add a row rather. Okay, and then let's just say I'm at 522, jump up to 530, and I'm just putting random numbers for now, but let's dream big. Okay, just as an example. So you highlight the rows that you want to track, and you can go to insert, recommended chart, let's just try a bar graph, and we'll make this bigger so you can see it. Move it front and center. All right, and then if we click on the chart, we can make the font bigger. All right, and we can change the title. All right, and we have the date across the bottom. So if we click on the, uh, on the chart, and go to chart design. Then we can add a chart element. Let's add a title along the bottom to indicate that this is the date. And then on the um, Y axis, we can add a label that it is the number of subscribers. Okay. We can change the color of every different bar if we wanted. So we'll go to Format, Shape, Fill. We can change it to whatever color you want, or you could change it to a pattern or something like that, whatever you want to do. Turn it back. I'll do red since red is the color of YouTube. And then you can see then that over time, right, we are, um, at least based on this hypothetical data, showing progress over time. And you can move the graph so that it is not on your, um, your, your spreadsheet. Move it out of the way here. If you wanted to change the design of the chart, you could go ahead and change chart type. Let's try a line graph and we'll just pick a format here. And you could, again, see your progress depicted any number of different ways. Okay, so say you wanted to print the blank sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of this for now, no fill. Delete, you can go to page layout, landscape, and you can see here that it would not fit all on one page, so you might need to adjust the size, but let's see what it would give us if we printed it out. It would give us 17 days at a time, and then you could print out um, you know, a few <laughs> different other pages or print it front and back if you wanted. So I hope that gives you some ideas. As you see, making a habit tracking spreadsheet in Excel is so easy and it's awesome because you can really use the program to create customized charts and graphs that represent your progress over time. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you back soon. Have a great day.